Hello everyone and welcome to our first video in our series of quick snapshots on using the new and also some of our all-time favorite functions in the newest version of the Hisvana Viking and FAF MySoNet embroidery software. In this video we will be using silver, gold and platinum versions of the software. However, in the silver version you will omit the applique section of the lesson. Okay, so let's begin. So from our welcome screen for my Sonet embroidery, we're going to select a blank canvas. We're going to change our hoop size to the 200 by 200 square hoop in a natural orientation and OK. We're going to select the Super Design tab. And over here in the category selection, we're going to select Encore as our category. Once we see our little thumbnails of the designs, we're going to click on the down arrow at the bottom, which is our preview arrow. So open that up. And I'm just going to make my screen a little bit bigger so you'll be able to see all of the category within the Encore section. So this one we're going to use is under Geometric 1 Encore. We're going to use the first design, which is number 1, Hexagon 1. So we'll click on that to select it. And once we've selected that, we're going to keep the size at 16 millimeters and click on Apply. So once we've got our design on the screen, we're now going to come back to the Encore tab. In the layout section, we're going to select our circle option. We're going to have it as standard layout. We're going to increase the repeats to eight and we're going to click on preview. Once we see our preview with inside the double circle, if we put our cursor, it will change to a little plus sign. If I left mouse click and hold and I'm going to drag it in or out, depending on how big you want your circle. In this particular case, we want to have our little ends of our designs just overlapping slightly so they create a nice join here. Once we're happy with our actual um, overlap, then we're going to come up and click on Apply to set the design. So now that we've done that, we're now going to bring in another super design. So we're going to come over to our super design tab we're going to um, stay with the Encore section, so we're going to click on the down arrow to preview. And we're going to take out of the first one, which is floral one, design number four, the daisy. So we'll click on that to select it. So with the size of this is standard 24 mil, again we're going to bring that back to 16 millimeters and apply. So now we'll go back to our Encore tab. We'll leave it as a circle, standard layout. It's remembered that we used eight repeats last time, so we'll stay with eight repeats and we'll click on preview. So now I wanna increase the size of my circle. So again, I'll put the cursor inside the two circles, left mouse click and hold, and I'm going to drag my circle out. So my inner circle is just going to rest on the top of the little hexagon um, part of the design. Once I've finished that, I'll click Apply to set it as stitches. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate the design. So on the selection box on the right hand side in the middle, there's a circle icon. When you put your, your cursor over it, it becomes the rotation icon. Left mouse click and hold. And I'm going to position the daisies in the middle of the little valleys created by the hexagon design. So we're just rotating there. Okay, so let's add another element to this design. So this time we're now going to come back to Super Design. So click on the Super Design tab. And we're going to select All from our category. Again, we'll click on the down arrow to preview all of our Super Designs. And then you can see now what all the designs that are available to you. So it doesn't matter whether you've got silver, gold or platinum versions of the software, you will have access to all over 2000 designs for Super Designs, which is just wonderful. So we're just going to scroll down now to our um, 
scallop section. There they are. And we're going to take out of scallop two, we're going to select design number one, which is the triple curve. We're going to increase the size of this particular design up to 25 millimetres and then click apply. We'll now come back to the Encore tab. Again, still keeping our circle, standard layout with eight repeats, we'll click on preview. So we're going to again just close up the circle a little bit so the little um, scallops will actually just overlap nicely there in the middle. So once we've created that, we'll click apply. And now we're going to rotate this again. So I'm going to left mouse click and hold and I'm going to rotate until my joints here, here are on the horizontal center grid line and the joins are on the vertical center grid lines and that'll put your daisies quite neatly in the middle of the um, scallop there. Okay so once we've done that we've now created for the silver people we've now created a whole new design for you using super designs and Encore. For those of you that have the gold and platinum versions of the software we're now going to add some applique fabric so you can actually see uh, what it will look like if you put applique fabric into the design. So once we've selected, we're just going to make sure that we select only the scallop designs. And all of these designs you'll see are groups because they've got the one to eight and they've also got the little group um, icon here as well. When you've actually selected the design, it'll have an orange background as well to let you know that it is a group design. Okay, so now that we've got our designs, we've chosen the app, the scallops, we now want to make it into an applique. However, we need to actually fix this as stitches before we can lay applique fabric behind it. So to do that, we're going to come up to combine and then combine selected and now it turns the scallop design into one single design with white handles and you now see that it's changed from a group icon into a standard design icon or embroidery icon. We'll now go to the applique tab. Under applique outline click on that to select it and then we're going to choose point line. It now brings up all of the color changes for each separate scallop. So I'm going to start here by selecting the one at the top at, at 12 o'clock. So we click on that to select. And now my little cursor will change into a, an arrow with a circle. So I'm now just going to zoom in a little bit so it will make it easier for everyone to see. And I'm going to start by placing uh, a series of dots around the inside of the scallop designs. So I'm going to hold down the shift key to create a sharp point and then I'm going to release the shift key and put in two circles which is curves, sharp point which is shift key, two curves and a sharp point and I'm just going to continue around two curves and a sharp point, two curves and a sharp point. To get a nice curve you've got to have a minimum of two points to create the curve so that's why I'm putting in two points in each curve because if I just went one here and then a sharp point here it would just create a line. If you happen to make a mistake and put a, a, a node in the wrong position you can come back and you can move them. If I accidentally put that one in as a circle which is a curved line no problem just come onto it, pick it up to start to move it, hold the shift key down and then as you release it, it will now come back to being a sharp point. You must remember to keep all the nodes going in strict numerical order. You can't go back and put one in here, but we can edit that later if we need to. So we're going to just continue with two curves and a sharp point, two curves and a sharp point scroll down a bit
Okay, so now that we've finished the round, again, if we need to adjust any of the nodes, we can go back and adjust them. And then when we've finished, we just right mouse click and it'll bring up the applique selection box where we can choose our fabric. So you can choose um, what we call the quick colors by just using a color palette of different thread colors, or this time we're going to choose a piece of fabric. So we're gonna put the dot in the fabric, and then the bot, this fabric options becomes active. So we're now going to click on load previously saved and it will open up a box where we can now choose different types of fabrics. So we've got them in categories here, or we're going to click on the little plus sign beside general. And now we're going to see that there's a whole lot of different designs. So we're going to uh, choose hexagons and I'm going to choose this um, hexagons 101, which is a uh, aqua hexagons and then click OK. And now I'll see a preview of that fabric in my window. So if that's the one I want, I now click OK. Oops, let's go zoom to fit so we can see everything. And now you'll see that all the rest of your designs are covered up by the applique fabric. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make this part of the design stitch out first. So we're gonna come down to the bottom of our film strip and click on stitch first and now it's going to be the first part of the design to stitch out and it will then stitch out the hexagons and then the daisies last of all. So now let's have a look at how our design will stitch out through the design player. So I'll open up this window. Again it's got the middle arrows in the bottom right hand corner which means I can stretch the screen out to make it a bit bigger and easier to see. Okay, and then I click on the play button and it will start to stitch out the design. So each time I click on the fast forward button, it'll increase the speed of the player. You'll notice that it's showing you the applique fabric coming in, but there's no supporting stitching for the applique fabric. At this level of the software in the embroidery module for applique, it only allows you to visually put the fabric behind the embroidery. It doesn't actually give you the running, the marking stitch and the tack down stitches that we would normally expect to see. To be able to do that, you will actually use the stitch editor module to create the stitches required for applique. And we'll be doing that in a future lesson. So as I click fast forward, okay, it will make the stitches play a bit quicker. So that's how it would actually stitch out on your machine. So that's our first lesson in our little snapshot series. I hope you enjoyed that and look forward to seeing you for the next one. Have a good day. Bye for now.